how is he so like I don't want to say smart, but he's planned out every single thing he's done to us to make sure he's never caught. Hi, Callie. Hi, Callie. But obviously the police just told us to just be super aware of our surroundings. They know what it's like to be stalked, and they said, we explained to them everything from the start, just like we are with you, and they said that this is definitely a case of someone stalking us. But we do have the sheriff's number now, so we like text him frequently if anything's okay. He's always checking up on us, and that's just like another thing of security that we have. Yes. But this is not the end, guys. We thought this would be the end, you know, we got the police involved. The stalker obviously knew that there was police involved. A few days later, Trisha came out with a video, and it yes. said something about a stalker, and we saw it on our Explore page, we were like, let's just watch this, because Trisha lives kind of in the same area as mm -hmm. Simone, and... She literally lives, like, down the road. It's not far at all. Definitely the same area, in the same neighborhood, and, like, for example, like, in her videos when she goes to Starbucks for her, like, mukbangs or whatever, That's it's the same Starbucks, Starbucks that we go to. Someone came up to her window, and it was a man, Yes, and, and started, well first he knocked on the window. Which was which, the exact same thing that he did to Simone. And, but this time he was filming her on his phone. He started chasing her, um, but she went on the highway and started driving towards Calabasas and he followed her five miles down the road because she was also trying to find a police station. And it was the exact same thing that happened to us. There's not really a police station nearby, like close enough to... Just drive too Because you can't be in a car chase for 15 minutes. Something, Something's going to go wrong. You're going to get in an accident at 150 miles an hour down a normal road. We didn't get it to the highways, but she was on the highways. I'm sure she was going like over 100. And this guy just puts so many people in danger. And we don't know if it's the same guy, but it's Because we don't very... know what he looks like. But it was the very... It was a lot of the same tendencies as this person seems to do to us. So that's why it was scary. And something that happened tonight was across from the Arby's that she got stalked at. Yes, so this is why we are making this video right now. It just happened to us. Right before we filmed this video, we got home and just pulled out the camera and just knew that we had to say something because we were scared. We need people to know about this. And yeah, so basically we stopped at Starbucks on our way home and we it was just me and Simone. And we pulled into one of the parking spots because I never like to like drink my Starbucks and eat my drive. little food and drive because it's just unsafe and I would not want to put us in that type of situation. So we pulled into a parking spot, locked the doors, you know. So as we were sitting in this parking lot, we both get a text message and it's from different numbers. So we know that he definitely used a fake number because he's smart. He knows what to do. We know his mannerisms by now. We kind of know when he likes to come around. It's always at night. And again, it was just Nick and I. Yes. Because Nick like just and drives anywhere. We get a text message and it's a picture of us. Literally sitting at the Starbucks across from the Arby's. And he was like literally in the bushes. It was terrifying and I think he sent the text message like a few seconds after he already left because we didn't see anything but once again we didn't want to look we just wanted to get right. out of there as fast like, as we can. That would be putting both of us in danger if one of us went to go look like that would have just been so scary in that moment so yes. we did what we did on the road like we were so confused we obviously opened the text and saw the picture we both started freaking out I almost started crying and Nick just like started to drive off. Yeah I just I just immediately started driving off. Like I that's didn't, first instinct. I didn't like like speed off I don't know but it was yeah. Right I mean, across we're gonna, from that like, Starbucks. Pop up yeah. The picture, like, right I'll here. put a screenshot up but, on like, the screen. Like, this person is in the bushes taking pictures of us drinking our Starbucks in the car. Yeah, and we just, we absolutely knew it was him. He just loves just scaring us, making us paranoid, and we just went home, and things are getting more frequent. You know, at the beginning, it was like smaller things. He would just knock on the window or stuff like that, but now he's like seeing us in person, he's car chasing us, we had to call the police on him, he took a picture of us in our own car and then sent it to us, and I just genuinely don't know where it's gonna go from here. We're scared, we're probably like, not gonna sleep tonight. He's in the area, he, I don't know where he could be, he could be somewhere in this house. And we can your apartment because he knows where you live. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously our house is safe, we have alarm systems. And since he came around, we have upgraded the security. We had alarms and everything, but we've just upgraded everything to the top tier. We have cameras everywhere. And if he comes around, if you are watching this video, you will not get away with it if you ever come to this house again, just so you know. And yeah, I don't know, we're paranoid, we're scared, and we just wanted to come on here and share it with you guys a little bit because we just cannot believe what's going on. All right, so I think we're gonna try to get some sleep tonight. I don't know if we're gonna get to sleep, but we just need to like, chill out i don't know what we're gonna do but we're paranoid we're scared and we just I, wanted to come on it's here just like we always know that we could potentially be watched yeah which this is like the comfort of our own home we should be able to feel yeah. safe